Hi there. Today I wanted to talk about uh, feedback. In the last few workshops I've been conducting, I've asked this question uh, to my participants. Um, I asked them uh, whether they like getting feedback. And uh, when I asked that question, a lot of people would raise their hands up. Then I would ask them, um, what kind of feedback do they like getting? And I say, well, you know, good, positive feedback. And of course, the next question is, uh, what kind of feedback don't they like getting? And they always say, you know, the bad, uh, destructive, uh, negative feedback uh, or things that they don't like to get. Uh, so in this vlog, I want to talk about feedback and how uh, our desire to get uh, positive, constructive feedback is completely flawed and that the best feedback for you is the one that upsets you the most. Um, so uh, let's get into it. See, we have learned from somewhere that feedback can be or should be classified into two. There's uh, uh, positive feedback and negative feedback. There's good feedback and there's uh, bad feedback. There's constructive feedback and then there's destructive feedback. And I think that's the wrong way to look at it because all feedback is good despite how you feel about them. See, in those kind of situations, what you're looking for is not feedback, it's appreciation, which is actually a form of feedback, uh, but it's not the only form of feedback. Um, uh, appreciation makes you feel good, it makes you feel appreciated, and uh, unless you are somebody who is uh, who has very low self-esteem or have very low confidence, appreciation feedback isn't going to make any real major uh, impact and change the way you do things. What you need are the other two kinds of feedback, which is uh, evaluation and coaching. And I'm going to talk about those two in a minute. Uh, by the way, before I forget, the absolute best um, resource for feedback and tools that you can use to get uh, feedback is a book called Thanks for the Feedback. Uh, and it's a book by Douglas Stone and Sheila Heen. Um, and they, they are the famous authors who actually wrote, um, I think the book is called uh, Thanks, uh, Critical Conversations. Uh, and uh, I picked it up about two years ago and it has made a lot of difference in making me understand what feedback is and how it can uh, help me discover things about myself. So a lot of the things that I'm going to share with you today comes from that book. I've learned that uh, one of the things that human beings crave, you and me, is that we crave acceptance. And if we wanted to find out why, why some feedbacks are very upsetting for us, is that when the feedback when the feedback is critical about the way we do things, or if the feedback is not um, something that we want to hear, we would treat it as a form of rejection. And, uh, and we don't like rejection. In fact, rejection is something that we always try to run away from. Um, so understanding that we can so that's why um, we classify things into positive and negative feedback bad and good feedback a constructive and destructive feedback and we have to get over that um, i suppose that fear of rejection in order for us to be able to 
really get the type of feedback that's going to make a difference and that's going to uh, make us be able to change the way we do things in a transformative way. Here's what you need to do. You need to, whenever you hear something unpleasant or whenever you hear something that you would normally consider as um, negative feedback or destructive feedback or bad feedback, you've got to take a step back and you've got to ask yourself, why is this making me upset? Why is this stirring up some emotions to me? Is it who is saying it? That you don't think that this person has a right to say those things to you? Is the feedback something that you disagree with and that you are taking the opposite position to that feedback? Is it the way that the feedback is given to you? Is it the timing of the feedback that's given to you? You've got to consider all these things. And after that, make a decision about what to do with that feedback. Because if it has something to do with the person who said it, like you're saying, who the, who, who the dude does this person think he is to say those things to me? If you're saying, you know, I don't agree with this feedback and, and, and I'm not going to even entertain even the slightest notion that it could be right. If it's feedback that says, wow, well, this, you know, does this person know who I am and what I've done? Uh, these are things that's really basic to me and uh, and uh, of course, this is not going to be true. If those are the things that's coming across your mind, then that's something you need to take uh, stock of and you need to really understand why those feedbacks is triggering these emotions in you. Because once you do that, then you actually begin the process of self-discovery and you're getting to know yourself a little bit more and you're understanding what is it that moves you or what is it that that upsets you one of the things that i've learned in the past is that all upsets are opportunities to know the truth if you are upset about something if you it, it is something that is um, that's going to help you understand yourself better when you understand why it upsets you so to sum it up take a little bit of time to understand what feedback really is um, um, take time to understand that uh, appreciation feedback, which is what people normally call constructive feedback, is not the only type of feedback to get. Understand that uh, actually it is the feedback that upsets you the most that's going to have the greater chance of a transform transformative impact on the way you do things. And that's my blog for today. Uh, let me know if, uh, if this is useful. Uh, also, uh, leave some comments in the comment section below if you want me to talk a little bit more about feedback and how to get it. Uh, this is Reza Ali signing off. And it's only been a day since my last upload, so we're doing well. Bye-bye. in the comments below if you want me to do a short summary and book review of thanks for the feedback by Douglas Stone and Sheila Heen.